What's up guys, it's Grace from Sweet Sense of the Dollhouse, from the Dollhouse, and today I'm going to be doing a DIY fire starter. What you're going to need for this is some egg cartons with the top on, and then shredded Scentsy paper, like the stuff that you, like when you order Scentsy and it comes, that's the paper that we use, and then dryer oil. And if you have allergies, you need a whole gas mask because I'm already starting to sneeze. Oh, and you're going to need melted wax as well. So, yeah. First thing you want to do is, my mom told me, like, double up. So when you're doing this and, like, pouring the wax in the actual curtains, it's easier to see on this one, like, we ripped it off and put it on the bottom. It's easier to have it like that so the wax doesn't flow through. And rip off the little tap. This is also not a DIY for kids just because you are going to be dealing with hot wax. So I don't recommend doing this if you're like a fetus. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your paper and just start putting it in the egg, like the little egg box. And you can even rip up these, and that's why we have them. You can literally rip up these and put a couple of those in there too. These burn for about 20 minutes, so after 20 minutes your wood should catch on fire. So these are actually really, really easy to use as well. Oh no. Oh. Okay, so now putting the dryer lint in. Whenever we go to the beach, all of the wood is always wet, all the sticks are always wet, and we can never start a fire. But if you bring these, it makes everything a lot easier. And these are waterproof, so you should be good there, because whenever we try and light sticks, the fire literally lasts for five minutes, and these are just a lot easier. Also, I don't think these these last for 20 minutes, and by then your wood should be caught on fire. So these are like really, actually really helpful. Oh, it's making me so nervous because there's so much like dust coming out of this. We have our wax warming on a hot plate warmer right now. And when you're doing this, you want your wax to be like completely, completely liquid. Right after this, we're going to pour in the wax. The lint is like the last step. Okay, we're ready for the wax. Because then I don't need to burn. Okay. You gotta go quick because it's already okay. solidifying. Is that how much I should be doing? Yeah, there's really no wrong or right. I put, I just pack it with wax. Really? I feel like we're gonna run out of wax though. 
Yeah, but that's okay. We'll just keep doing layers and layers and layers. It's kind of satisfying to watch. <laughs> like all the little lint like to a different color. Okay, done. Let me see if I have some more for you. Okay. So that's the first one, the first carton in. And you should, like, basically, you want to, I think you should cover the entire top of it. So, like, you can't really, like, like, there's no more texture to the lint, I guess. This one. So, like, just cake it on there. Stealing my juice box. Here, Nikki, baby. Juice box mm, theft. Mm, okay, so we'll be back once we layer more wax on and fill both curtains. This one's pretty cute. Hang tight. It's, it's day two, and these are dry. And, yeah, they look pretty good. All the wax is completely dry. So this is what we use to melt um, like the back of or the wax. Like this is the one that we would use to put the dump cup on. That's what she said. So we literally and it fits perfectly. We put it there and then melt all the wax that's in it. And that's what we use for the cartons. So I'm pouring, I'm literally pouring this into the dump cup right now. And then when this gets full, we'll just make more of the fire starters. Next, this is the um, measuring cup or like funnel cup that we use to pour the wax into these. You don't want to put this in your um, sink with the rest of your dishes because the wax that's in it will mess up your plumbing. So basically what you're going to do is just put water, like boiling water in it and like scrape it out and then dump it outside because you don't want this in any of your drains because it will mess it up and that won't be good. Like that. Now we're going to, these are, yeah, these are the, what they look like. You can still see some like the lint, but it's pretty good. You don't want to overflow the wax. So you're going to take this off from the bottom. And then basically you can cut them if you have like really like really really strong scissors, but um, I find it easier to just snap them. Like I literally just snap this one off. So basically, you can snap them into two, one or two. You can do whatever. I guess it would depend on what you're gonna store them in. Yeah, because if you don't want them to like, you could even do this if you really want. Yeah, and then snap them as you need them, or you can snap them individually. I'm going to use a, um, because now I have so many of them, you know the big plastic containers with the lids on it, we use, or that kitty litter comes in, we clean those out and use it to store dog food because we live in the country, we don't want to do anything that will attract mice. I have several of those bins now that I want to recycle and find purpose for, so I'm going to start putting all of these fire starters in an old kitty litter bin and just keep it in the garage that way when we're having a fire outside or if we're having a fire at the beach easily accessible to just go in and help ourselves to one or even two depending on how big your fire is going to be yeah I'm just breaking them into singles singles will fit best in um, the like kitty litter bins yeah. these ones are fuller so I feel like they're going to be yeah they're going to be harder to snap and messy, do it over the table. Okay. Oh, I got it. That's the thing, if you fill them like a lot, a lot, a lot, like this one is gonna be hard to snap because it's literally right over the side. Because these ones are still like a little bit empty. I feel like those are easier to snap because the wax. The more wax though, the longer they will burn. Yeah. And we have a lot of wax to recycle. What you do is <laughs> oh, okay. Almost done. Uh, 
My nose is getting itchy for this. It's probably the dryer lint. Yeah. There. So now what? Put them in. Put them in the bin, and we're gonna head to the beach and show you guys how one of these fire starters work. Keep in mind, this is a DIY for adults only. Yeah. I will be lighting these bad boys at the beach. Even this is hot. Like, even touching that and moving that is hot. So don't do it on your own if you're a kid, because that's just not a good idea. You're going to burn your hands. Like, I, mom will ask me to pour something in, like, one of these, and I literally can't do it. I can't move a warmer because it's so hot. So, so hang tight. Sensitive hands. 